Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually very straightforward. We're just going to register for an account. So we'll head on over to squarespace.com and we'll sign in. Since we don't have an account yet, we're going to go ahead and sign up. And now we have three options, get a domain, create a site, or build a store. I would say hold off on getting a domain name for now, just because you might change your mind as to what the ideal domain name is throughout the development process. So we'll pick between a site and a store. Now, don't get me wrong. You can sell products on a site and that's what most people do, but there are some small differences that I'll highlight now. The first difference is price. Websites start at $12 per month, whereas online stores start at $26 a month. A website has a 3% transaction fee for anything you sell, whereas an online store has no transaction fee. So that means that the $14 difference between the plans, you can actually make up for it if you sell more than $467 worth of products. So let's say that I wanted uh, a website. So I'll click on create a site. So now we're going to choose a template. Now for now, just pick a random one. I picked the very first one. Um, we're we're going to go over and change the template later on, but I just want to show you how to create the account. So we're going to fill this in. So I'm just going to put in my information here. And we'll go ahead and agree and sign up and create site. Okay, so now we're going to click on start and then we're going to pick the category. So let's say this is going to be a business website. Okay, you can pick between a personal site, a business site or for somebody else. So we'll pick on business site and we'll pick one of the categories that it falls into. So I'll say mine is going to be an art and design website. And the point of the website is to showcase and create a portfolio of my work. So we'll click next and then a site title. So let's say this is the Udemy website and then we'll hit done. And that's how you create an account and we'll go over some of the other um, features that's available in the next lectures.